All right, welcome back, everybody, to Math 2413, Chapter 3, Section 5. Now we're going to do specifically on trigonometric functions. I gave you here, instead of deriving all those, I mean, we can do that if you want to, but this is just a shortcut. The derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of tangent is secant squared. If cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Secant is secant tangent. Cosecant is negative cosecant tangent. These are just shortcuts. Um, but again, if you want me to, I could, I could make another video if I do all these derivations. I just want to save some time. Let's look at the first one of our homework assignments. y is equal to 10x plus 9 cosine x. The derivative, since it's two separate terms separated by a plus, derivative of 10x is just 10. 9 is a constant, so leave it there. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So our answer is 10 minus 9 sine x. That's our first answer. Okay, now that's, that's the sum rule. Now next one we have a product rule. Equals x to the power 9 cosine x. Since a product, we have f is x to the 9, g is cosine x, f prime is 9x to the power 8, g prime, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Since it's a product, we use a fishy thing as a plus. So 9 x to the 8 times cosine plus x to the power 9 times negative sine x. So it's 9x to the 8 cosine x minus x to the 9 sine x. And that's our second answer. Alright, the third one. 5 sine x tangent x. That's a uh, constant multiple, so don't worry about that. Here we have a product rule. So, f is sine x, g is tangent x. So, the derivatives, derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of tangent is uh, let's see, cos uh, secant squared. Since it's a product, so the derivative, you leave the coefficient alone. Cosine x tangent. Plus sine x secant squared of sine x secant squared x so let's see what this let's see tangent is sine over cosine Secant squared is 1 over cosine squared. So right here we have cosine x sine x 
over cosine x plus sine x 1 over cosine squared x. Cosines cancel. So we'll have left is five in both both of those. So we're gonna have five times sine x plus five sine x. I'll leave that secant squared. Secant squared. There's nothing cancels here. There you go. So it's 5 sine x plus 5 sine secant squared. Now the next one. I'm going to start using the scratch paper. Alright, so this is chapter 3, section 5, number 4. So this one is y equals 5x to the fourth sine x cosine x. Nice if I have the first derivative. So now you see why I'm decided to do it that way. Alright. So we have a product rule. This times that. Take the derivative of the first one. This is so it's 20x to the third. Leave that alone. Plus, take leave that first one alone. Now we have to take a derivative of this. So we have f, and she says a sine, cosine. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So it becomes cosine squared plus negative sine squared. further. So it's 20x cubed sine x cosine x five x to the fourth cosine squared x minus five x to the fourth sine squared x. That's nothing else simplifies here. Yeah. So that goes in number four. So number five. I'm gonna put that for number four. Twenty x to the third sine x cosine x five x to the fourth cosine squared x five x to the fourth sine squared x. All right, next one. R theta, or over the r dr theta, d theta. So it is. R is equal to 4 minus theta to the fifth sine theta. So the derivative. 
first one goes to zero since it's a constant. So I have this product. F is negative beta fifth. G is sine theta. So F prime is negative five theta to the fourth. G prime is negative cosine theta. No, cosine. So derivative of sine is cosine. Since it's a product, we add. So it becomes negative 5 theta to the fourth sine theta plus, that's a minus, so it's a minus fifth cosine theta. All right, let me write that on a sheet. is negative 5 theta to the fourth sine theta minus theta to the fifth cosine theta. Okay, number six. Eight sine theta, cosine theta. Find the first group. So three, five, six are equals eight sine theta, cosine theta. So the derivative. So f is sine theta, g is cosine, g is negative sine. So it's cosine times cosine is cosine squared theta plus negative, so it's minus sine squared theta. All right, so eight cosine squared theta minus eight sine squared theta. Cosine squared theta minus 8 sine squared theta. Number 7 is a quotient one. Sine, I'm going to say x is sine x, cosine x. Let's, let's see if we can do this short one. Okay. So the top is f, the bottom is g. So the derivative cosine x minus sine x, the derivative negative sine x minus cosine x, cosine x, so the derivative negative sine x. Sine squared x on the bottom. So we have cosine x times negative sine x minus cosine x minus negative sine x cosine x minus sine x. 
So we have negative sine x, cosine x, minus cosine squared x, negative, negative makes it positive, so it makes it sine x, cosine x, minus sine squared x. see at the very top. Negative sine cosine, that cancels with that. So we have negative cosine squared x minus sine squared x over cosine squared x. If we take out the negative, cosine squared x plus sine squared x Cosine squared x plus sine squared x is 1. It's a trigonometric identity. Because cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. Pythagorean theorem. So we have negative 1 over cosine squared. Which makes it negative secant squared x. And the last one. Well, I'll just go through those. Well, I'll finish this one. I'll go through the trig root identities. So we have limit as x approaches 3 of 5 pi over x minus 2 pi over 3. Just plug them in there. We have 5 pi, oops, it's sine of 3 over 2 pi over 3. Sine of 5 pi minus 2 pi over 3. Sine 3 pi over 3. Sine of pi is 0. And there's your answer for number 8. It's 0. Alright, I'll show you as I'm going to type the identities. We showed the trig rule, and let's review the identities. Cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. So from there we could do, we could say that cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x, or sine squared x is the same thing as 1 minus cosine squared x. Now, what if we took all the equation, all these, and divided it by cosine squared x? If we divide each of these by cosine squared x, Cosine, cosine, that's 1. Sine over cosine is tangent. 1 over cosine is secant. So here we have these other possibilities. So 1 equals secant squared x minus tangent squared x. Tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. I'll come from this. Or what if we took the original one and divided it by sine squared? 
because here's an identity this is an identity if we divide each of these by sine squared cosine over sine is cotangent sine over sine is 1 1 over sine is cosecant squared here's a third identity which means cotangent squared is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1 1 is cosecant squared x minus cotangent squared x and all these corollaries so all these are corollaries and identities we could use them in trig whenever we need them all right good luck with your homework